Hayes Elementary, we do lots of good stuff for our brain, like brain science. Check out this bulletin board. first grader. So let's talk about brain science. This is your brain. I'm going to tell the different parts of your brain. This is your amygdala. Your amygdala controls your emotions. This is your hippocampus. It sends messages into your brain. This is your prefrontal cortex. It does decision making and thinking. When you get sad or angry or whatever, your amygdala takes over. It's right here. So it just pops up. You like flip your lid when you get really like like sad, angry, or whatever feeling you have. It just like pops up, so it won't really pop up. But it does happen sometimes when you like flip your lid, you get really scared. When it gets really scared, it does this. Ah! And when you get really, really scared or like, ah! I can't do this, I can't do this. It's like you flip your lid and you're going crazy, you can't do stuff, you're like angry, sad, sad, or whiny, or confused, or like, oh, oh, I just can't get this guy, I'm gonna run out of time. And then when it's time for lunch, you're up, you're like, I didn't even finish this. Oh my, I'm gonna be bad at this forever. No. You're going to be really good. So once you flip your lid, your amygdala is in control. So you've got to use your finger breathing. So your free frontal cortex can be back in control. If you get really, really like, ah, just use, use your finger breathing. It calms on your brain really well. It's really like kind of weird because your neural connections can get thicker. So you tar turn out with something like a spaghetti noodle, but then you turn into a ravioli and then you go bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it's really big and fat. You should always think about your neurons when you try to, and also reflect on what you're doing. What you're trying to build your connection, you start out with a teensy weensy spaghetti noodle. But then it grows to a bigger connection and it gets thicker until you get really good. And then this one, will be, you'll be really good. Always use your thinking part because it can help you grow your brain, like big. Every And you're like, oh, I don't want to do this. Your brain is getting good at, your connection for whining is getting stronger. So you can do connections for doing good choices and grow connection for doing poor choices. So you should do good choices with your connection, good choice connections, but don't do bad choice connections. You should always have sleep, healthy foods, um, drink water, no soda pop, because sugar is not good. Don't drink pop, don't drink soda, don't drink anything of that. So just drink water. Most of all, the most important thing is sleep and water because it gets your brain energized and, and, and energized until you're ready to go do something. You can choose anything. Your brain makes the decisions. Remember the prefrontal cortex? That controls your decision. So always think about when you make a decision, think of your prefrontal cortex and change the bad decision you make. Good choice, poor choice. Always your choice. It's a really good choice if you make it good. So you shouldn't drink bad stuff that your grown-ups say you shouldn't have. You can only drink, like, this is a like a little thing that you can have at a fancy dinner or a little thing. It's called a sherry temple. But you can, it has like sugar and cherries in it, but you should always, always have that sometimes. <laughs>